It is one of the most common complaints that people have. Socially, it can be a nightmare for some people who aren't prepared to put the effort in. I'm talking about the inability to remember the names of people whose names you should be able to remember. And the worst possible scenario is when you are forced to introduce someone else to someone whose name you should know, and of course you don't know their name. So what happens? At the best, you're just slightly embarrassed. At the worst, it is devastating and can cost you promotion. I made that up. <laughs> um, so before we tell you how to deal with situations like that with our resident resident etiquette expert, uh, Ruben, our man with the mic, went out on the street to see how much of a problem this actually is. I've got this trick where if you say you're getting their number or something, you say, how do you spell your name? I just sort of introduce myself as, oh, how you going, mate? Nice to see you. I just um, say him or her. What I do is go through the alphabet, A, B, C, D, and try and remember the name that way. So I've got a terrible memory. Um, but um, I usually... Uh, She's forgotten the question. Try to avoid any sentences that have their name in it. I just call them mate or think of a funny nickname for them. You just skip the name. I uh, pull usually a friend of mine aside and say, do you know this guy's name? So are you pretty good at remembering names? Uh, I am Robert. Yes, that was uh, a stranger's attempt at a joke. Because his name, of course, is Ruben. Uh, Lady Daniela De Massey, our etiquette expert, is with me now. It's a huge... Good morning. Good morning. It's a huge problem, isn't it? Massive. And it's like, because I think the problem lies that people go, oh, I'm just bad at remembering names, and so... Which is an excuse. It is an excuse, and it's a very bad excuse, because mm. you have to, like we talked about last time, it's putting in effort when you meet people. You have to put in effort. So you can learn tricks, you just need to learn what is the best trick for you. Yeah. But for a start, you've got to care. And the Absolutely. only time I care, because I'm... I'm terrible, terrible with names. The only time I care is when I am in that situation where I have to introduce someone to someone whose name I don't know. So right. very quickly, let's cut to the chase. Yes. How do you handle a situation like that? Use the buddy system. Mm -hmm. It's the best one. And especially if you're walking into um, a meeting with someone, you're with your buddy, your colleague, your partner, whoever that is, and you say, okay, just so you know, I can't remember their name, so can you introduce yourself first? And they come so in. So they cut straight in? They come in and they're yeah. like, oh, hi, I'm Danielle. And they go, hi, I'm Paul. And they go. And so I say, oh, I'm sorry, I should have introduced you to Danielle. Danielle, Danielle, Danielle. Or you could say, oh, you've met Paul before. Yeah. So, and crazy. And the, thing, the, the, the wonderful thing about this, if you get the technique right, pe it's so flattering for people so for you to use their name. And so few people do. Even if you know the yes. person's name, seldom do you actually put their name into conversation. It's so true. It's so true. Uh, we're all ego beings. And so we love to hear our name. It stirs off little chemicals yeah. within us. So you can say it a million times. If that's your strategy to learn someone's name, you can say, Paul, 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 Paul. And the more I say it, the more you're going to go, oh, look, she loves me. Yeah. This is great. And it's just going to build that rapport. It'll what a work good idea, in your favour. Um, I was told once by someone in business <laughs> that a very good technique, yes. and also it, it helps flatter the people, irrespective of whether you hear their name when they're introduced to you. Okay. So someone says to me, oh, and this is Daniela. Yes. And I say, I say, oh, hello. I, I didn't quite catch your name. What is it? Right. And you know, and you repeat it, lovely. and and it's just a lovely opportunity. Both it helps you lock the name in, but also it shows that you really care. That you know, you're really in the it's moment. actually fake, isn't it? Really, <laughs> <laughs> you're pretending you care. Can I give you an excellent strategy to help each other? Yes, is to put your own name in back in the conversation. So if I'm talking to you and someone says, "How'd you get into the etiquette business?" I would say, "Well, growing up, my mother was really forceful with stuff, and she used to say, Danielle, get your elbows off the table.' So then you would go, "Oh, Danielle." Yeah. And once you take that pressure off the other person, then they're connecting with you because if they're too busy thinking, was it Diane, was it Deborah, yeah. then they're not listening to what you say and you just take that pressure off. So it's a little con community service announcement. People have ideas in their own head how they do it, yes. don't they? I mean, and you see those, those memory experts who can walk into a room full of people and they... Um, they superimpose ideas and, and, and sub, so they'll look at someone like you that they've never met before, what's her name, and then mm -hmm. they will think, oh, I saw her with a lamp behind me, lamp, stamp, right. ramp. Danielle. Danielle. <laughs> um, are there any tips like that that actually work? There's a lot of tips out there that work. A really good one, actually, Roosevelt, uh, the lamp, president. Stamp, lamp, lamp, ramp. Danielle, perfect. Mm. Um, was... He, uh, Roosevelt was terrible at remembering names and so he put, took it on himself to, to learn a technique and it was to put the name, your name on your forehead. Mm -hmm. So I'd meet you and I'd be like, hi Paul, it's great to meet you and then I'd see Paul on your forehead. And that worked for him and he could walk through his office and, and he knew everyone's name in administration. Uh, another trick is, like we said, saying the name over and over again um, and another trick is to write it down as soon as you meet them mm -hmm. uh, or put them straight into uh, social media. We have that if it's in a social context that you can go, oh, let's connect 
connect on LinkedIn or Facebook, and that's a really good okay. way to. But the most it. important thing, and I actually circled it here on my notes, it takes effort. It does take and effort. And it, it is worth it, is it? It's yes. worth making the effort. If you if you meet someone, they meet them again, and they remember your name, you feel so special. And once you've got that connectivity, you're really going to go on to have a great relationship with them. Mm. All right. So All right. Um, just very finally, in the very finally. Just, yeah. just to end this interview, if we can, <laughs> to bring the whole thing, the whole nightmare to a close. Um, what, what's the worst situation that you've been in where, you know, say the original situation I gave you, but from the reverse, where you suspect the person who is supposed to introduce you to someone else has forgotten your name? Yeah. I mean, should you just stand there holier than thou and wait for them to, you know, struggle with it socially, mm -hmm. or should you help them out? Absolutely help them. Like, put in your name in the conversation, you introduce yourself, always put so yourself So you could even forward. go forward and say, oh, I'm so and so. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. And always put yourself forward. Help everyone out because it's so awkward. The worst is when you walk away from a conversation. You're like, I just called them Deborah, and her name's Danielle. Yeah. That lightning. Okay. Bolt. What should you, should you turn around and shout out? Sorry, <laughs> thingy. Uh, I know I got it wrong. <laughs> thingy. Should you do that straight away? Okay. First of all, don't call them thingy. That's not going to help. Um, second of all, no. Just fix it next time. Just move on. Pretend it didn't happen, and just correct it. Right. But. Sorry, what did you say? You, you mention it straight away, though, don't you? Listen first. Yeah, but if it does happen, you yeah. should acknowledge it. You shouldn't just walk away and beat yourself up for the rest of the evening. If you've already passed, you yep. just move on, and oh, next really? time, make it. Don't go back to them, uh, and just move on. But next time, make sure that you you use their name okay. correctly. Danielle, that's fantastic. I called you Daniela during yeah. the. I know. I did it's that. It's better than Diane. I did that. Yeah. Oh, was it Diane? Sorry. <laughs> Diane Lamp Damp Ramp. Good. Yep, it's, all, it's all locked in, isn't it? Excellent from da now on. That's fantastic. And you've come dressed as a um as a um Oh, I've gone yeah, too far. No, it, I, as soon as I saw you, I thought that's fantastic. It's like sort of a weenie bit housemaid-ish, isn't it? Which is the fantastic. The lamp, like the lamp. Lamp, dress, Danielle. 